right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweep from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, Prevailing Wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. More than five years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds, fighting at a Phuket Thailand assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds, fighting. Russell, Belgium, assassin. All right, we can lose in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. We're a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the doctor. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him with his hip to that kick. Oh, head kick. Jab hurt him a little bit. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. attempt but unable to land and they separate nice punch. able to 
check that kick as well. And both guys really throwing with authority. Straight right hand now, just misses. Takedown defense holds up. Big punch land. Ooh. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. What a beautiful body kick. Oh, that knee. knee. That knee hurt him. Leg kick. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch lands. Nice sneaky head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. <laughs> nice body kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And they separate. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Oh, single collar tie here. Big kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Got clip with the right hand. Elbow there, Lance. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dunk. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Big Paul punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next Ready? round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. He didn't like that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh, big left hook there. What a punch. Oh, buckled in there. Beautiful shot to the body. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go change that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Oh. 
And he landed the right hand there. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Punch landed with so much power. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one of great action to get to that takedown. High level guard pass there as he moves into half court. You know the guy's going to his left on the pass, but you cannot stop it. He is tremendous at passing the guard. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Watch knees to the body. Whoa! Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Straight punch lands. Oh, nice counter to land the left hook there. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Beautiful kick. Mixes. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. Down there, how good is his takedown defense? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Oh! Oh, he goes and he lands! Wow! Here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. All right, working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. 15 seconds remain in the round. Beautiful punch. 10 seconds to go in the round. Oh, nice right hand, John. 10 minutes in the books. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, that Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad.
to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. lands the right hand. Oh, that even hurts to watch. Huge kick to the body. That was a jab. Yes, that he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Yep. <laughs> Beautiful strike. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Oh, that's gonna soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Roundhouse attempt just misses. Oh! Oh, diving punch lands. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. <laughs> Trying to go to the body. Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything.